new this morning, people are rallying for justice as a teen recovers from a dangerous hazing attack. Last night, hundreds of folks protested outside a hospital in Glen County. Taylor Levesque from our sister station in Jacksonville uh, has the latest from the case from a newly released police report. The teenager's father says his son is in stable condition and says it was truly breathtaking to see everyone who came out to support him. No justice! No peace! No justice! No peace! Monday night, hundreds gathered at the entrance of the hospital where 19-year-old Trent Learcamp is recovering. It was absolutely heartbreaking and disgusting. His friend Cynthia Sykes held up a Justice for Trent sign. He was a very sweet, goofy, um, intelligent kid. According to police, Lear Camp was abused by kids he hung out with. Glen County police say around 8.30 p.m. last Tuesday, three teens in a Jeep dropped Lear Camp off at the hospital. Medical staff says he was unresponsive, his clothes soaked with urine and spray paint, his blood alcohol level potentially fatal. The report notes he was breathing just six times per minute and was on a ventilator. He deserves better and we're going to get him better. The victim's father says it's not the first time the teenager has gone to this same friend's house and has been abused. In a statement, his father says, quote, we are all cooperating with authorities on the investigation and want justice for Trent and to hopefully prevent this from happening to any other kids in the future. So far, no arrests have been made. More than $58,000 has been donated to the GoFundMe page to help cover medical bills. In Brunswick, Taylor Levesque, First Coast News on your side.